walked away. <laughs>
that instance and in this instance I went to all my neighbors w walked around explained to them what I was going to do and they even signed a little notice that I told them what, what we were planning on doing is there anyone here to oppose this okay are they here are they here to support yeah I have a couple of neighbors wanted to speak in favor of it we'll, if, we'll, we'll allow them to speak after you're finished okay uh, the building would be identical to the building I built across the street. Same colors, it's two-tone tan and green with a nice garage door that looks like a residential door. It's not a really a commercially looking building. There'll be no signs on it, anything like that. It'll have some lighting around it like I you know, put on my other building just for security. But there'll be no increased traffic, no parking problems, anything like that. Just to shelter, like I said, some of my business vehicles, and I have a camper and a couple of older cars to keep in there. Okay, do you guys want to come up and... Okay, I just want to raise your right hand. You sw solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. So if you got uh, state your name and address, please. Nancy Morgan, property owner, 816 Beach Street, Scranton. We live directly across from Mr. Jordan, and we have no problem with him building another building. Um, he's a good neighbor. He's an honest businessman. He keeps his property spotless, and there's never any noise. There's never any traffic. There's, it's it's a, it's actually a quiet business, a very quiet business. So there is my husband is with me tonight, and neither both of us agree with him having this new garage. Thank you. And the other people in the audience have similar. I'm sorry. What's that? Oh, oh no. Okay. Um, you know. Raise your right hand, sir. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give us? Sorry, I'm a little hard of hearing. Do, do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. State your name and address, please. My name is John Wilson. I live at 824 Beach Street, south side of Scranton. Um, several years ago, when Bill put up the building across the street, I came down here and strongly ask that this application be approved. I'm here once again to do the same thing. The Billy is gonna put up, he came over to, recently to my house, sat down on the sofa. Billy and I have been friends almost 35 years. Um, he has been across the street from me for I think a little over 25 years. I have lived in my house for 30 years. And he told me what he wants to put up. The building will be going right next to where I live he told me what he wants to put up, and I know what it's going to be. I'm not worried. Billy and I have been friends. Um, I don't think the man knows how to tell a lie. So I'm not worried about what he's going to put up, and it's going to be right next to me. And as I said, for 25 years, Jordan's towing has never been anything but a good neighbor. The property is immaculate. I don't know if you've ever been driven by, driven by it, but the place is absolutely immaculate. So I'm not worried about what he's going to put up and what he's gonna put into the building, he's already told me. So I'm here tonight to urge you as strongly as I possibly can to approve his application. Thank you for your time. I'd make a motion to vote. Yes. Mr. Cantons? Yes. Mr. Marks? Yes. Mr. Palmatessa? Yes. Chairman O'Neill? Yes. With a vote five to zero, it's been granted. Congratulations. Thank you and good luck. Thank you very much. Agenda item number two, Mobile ID LLC, Mr. Fitzsimmons.
Uh, uh, you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay, state your name and address, please. Joseph Fitzsimmons, F-I-T-Z-S-I-M-M-O-N-S, 111 Church Street, Waverly, Pennsylvania, 18471. Okay, you can proceed. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thanks for your time and consideration tonight. I'm here for uh, mobility to uh, put in uh, three additional uh, sites in the city of Scranton. Um, one's an attachment to an existing pole, and the other two are to replace the, the structures there and put in new structures that are the same exact type structures. Is there anyone in the audience to oppose this? I'll make a motion. Second. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Gattins? Yes. Mr. Marks? Yes. Mr. Palmatessa? Yes. Chairman O'Neill? Yes. With the vote 5 to 0, it's been granted, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Appreciate Mr. Your time. Mm -hmm. Agenda item number 3, 510 Dean Street. Tom Preamble. Raise your right hand. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Okay, state your name and address, please. Tom Preambo, 510 Dean Street, Scranton. Okay, you can proceed. I do have a couple of additional uh, handouts for details if I may approach. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate your time tonight to let me present my case. And good evening, board members. Uh, as my application states, I'm here seeking simply an approval to place a storage structure for personal storage on the property next to my residence. Uh, just to give you, uh, just to take a moment, I'd like to establish some background in regards to the property and how I acquired the property. Uh, my wife and I are lifelong residents of the neighborhood. And in 1985, I purchased a house at 510 Dean Street, which is my primary residence. For 32 years, we have made countless improvements to the home and the property. And I'm proud to say that it is one of many attractive homes in the neighborhood today. So for about 15 years ago, the property next to my home, which is across the alley, um, the homes became blighted and later were condemned by the city. Uh, about four years after that, the city raised the properties and for about the last 11 years, myself and my family have been caring for the property. We've been cutting the grass, trimming the trees, keeping the leaves cleaned, and all the litter removed off the property so that it's pleasing to the neighbors. This past June, I was able to purchase the properties through the county land bank program. So for the past 15 years, and it's very important for you to understand this, for the past 15 years, the property has been tax delinquent until June this year. I'm now paying taxes on the property. Okay, so, and that's all for the efforts of the land bank that allowed me to purchase the property. My intentions tonight is to ask for approval and that if I am granted the approval to place the storage structure personally for personal storage and to provide some off street parking to provide some relief to the street, which we seem to have an uptick in parking activity on the street because some of the recent apartments have been rented that haven't been rented in the past. So there's been an uptick in traffic parking on the street. So my intention is to provide some relief to that as well as to provide some storage opportunity for myself with just personal items. Um, we will only use it for personal storage and we will continue to maintain the property so that it is pleasing and pleasant to the neighborhood. 
and so I seek your approval tonight. Okay, oh, what is that? Just like a, a one and a half car garage? Like a, it's a, a room it, in the back? Is it's, it? Or? Yes, it's actually it would actually fit two vehicles. Mm -hmm. It would actually fit my tight, uh, Tacoma and a small vehicle, and plus some additional storage. It's it's a single bay, mm -hmm. but it's extra length. Right. Okay. Is, is anyone have, here to oppose this, guys? I make a motion. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Gattins? Yes. Mr. Marks? Yes. Mr. Palmatessa? Yes. Chairman O'Neill? With the vote 5 to 0, it's been granted. Good luck. Thank you very much for your time and your Thank participation. You, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Agenda item number 4, Thomas Cole Coleman. 1301 Watson Avenue. Uh, raise your hand. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay, state your name and address, please. My name's Tom Coleman, 1301 Watson Street, Scranton, PA. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can proceed, Tom. I have a bunch of drawings you guys might want to look at. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. So I just want to say thanks for your time tonight, and uh, I'm trying to get a little setback variance approval on um, a garage and expanded kitchen alongside my house. It'll be like mainly to store my boat and some just extra storage wood and, and things like that I have laying around. Um, and then like I said the expanded kitchen also. What's the setback he's looking for Jack? I'm um, looking for two feet of the That's four correct. foot. That's correct, two feet. Okay. So you're doing a, uh, you're expanding your kitchen and doing a garage? Is yeah, that it'll be the whole length of the house. Okay. Um, and then the kitchen, the kitchen will set right against the back of the garage area with <laughs> steps going into the garage from the kitchen access. Okay. Um, along with that, there'll be, I mean, I'll be putting some siding on the house and it'll be, it's a pretty big project that I'm Is it I'm a one story or two story? It's uh, the, the addition will be a one story. Okay. Yeah, single floor. So the, the end of the unit that you're going to put up is going to be one foot from the sidewalk, the existing sidewalk? Um, roughly one to two feet. Okay. Jack, we don't, uh, don't have any problem with the sight line on that corner with the addition coming out? No, I posted the property and I took a good look. I don't see any problem. Okay. I sit back about 20 some foot from the, the main road okay. and there's a stop sign there. You can also see on the, the picture. That's a pretty wide open corner too. Yeah, I, I just want to be sure. Is there anyone else to give testimony? Make a motion. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Gattins? Yes. Mr. Mark? Yes. Mr. Paul Matessa? Yes. Chairman O'Neill? Yes. With a vote 5 to 0, you have been granted. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good, night. Good luck. Good luck. Congratulations. Congratulations. Agenda item number 5, 520 Hemlock Street, John Zhang. Okay, raise your right hand. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? No. Yes, I do. State your name and address, please. Uh, John Zahn, uh, 1517 Mulberry Street, Squen. Okay, you may proceed, John. Uh, thank, you. thank you for your hearing my case tonight. Um, 
I'm here to uh, seek a variance to convert a um, property on 520 Hamlock Street into a four unit uh, apartment. It's uh, the apartment will be uh, first floor, two apartments, and then second floor and third floor will be one apartment on each side. Um, Do you ever buy any easy, easy houses that you don't have to come in front of zoning? I beg your pardon? Do you ever buy any easy houses where you don't have to come in front of us, or everyone goes in front of us? <laughs> There's one or two that okay. doesn't have to. I, um, and the, uh, the parking on the lot, the lot is uh, 39 by 85. Um, currently has a one car bar garage on the, on the corner there. Um, and then behind the garage, uh, there will be five spaces. And then if I, next, I plan another space next to the garage, that will make it six plus the garage. I think that's the issue that I see there, John. Is well, where did you come up with the the parking there? Because I, I don't see that many spaces for the even for the width of the lot. The width is 39, so one car garage takes nine feet away. So that's left 30 feet, and then one more space, it's nine feet. Well, nine times five spots is what 45, 45. feet. 45. That's 39 by 85. So the long length is 85. Right, but the width would have to be 45 or better. Right. The, well, here, may I approach sure, him? Sure, yeah. This, this here is 85. That's 85, that right. direction. That's 39. So this takes about 45 plus the garage. Is that even about 20? They're coming in and going to park this way. This is the such fine. Right. 85 this way, 40, 39 this way. Okay. So Jack, he, he has enough for that, but he's... I walked it, yeah. I didn't measure it to the exact uh, footage, but it seemed to be okay. I measured it today from the garage to the steps. I had 53. From the garage? Back of the garage to the steps off the back of the home. There was a little, there was room to work with. There was 53. To the back of the garage? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. When we went to the front of the garage. That's what I mean. I'm sorry, the front of the garage. Okay. Okay, so he, he could. So he could fit five spots then if it's 53. You need nine for each spot. So. Yeah, and I, and I also measured the spot between the house and the garage, which is also. John, what was the measurements between the house and the garage? The house to the garage. Um, <clears throat> I think that's what. I measure it's approximately about 60, I think. I think that's what Mr. Marks was saying. Yes, yeah, 53. 53, okay. No. Mr. Mark said it's 53, so okay. and he measured it more exactly. I got that to the steps off the rear of the home. Yeah. I didn't go okay. past that. So there's 53 there. John, are you, gonna, are you planning to put rear steps for the upper units? The rear, uh, you mean rear exit? Yes. Yeah, there's going to be two exits for the... I'm talking for your second floor units. Uh, no, I'm not going to build outside. It's going to be inside exit, inside the house. Do you have that on your plan? Uh, yeah, yeah. So that could all come down from the second units right. out the back door? Yeah. Okay. It is, uh, right, this is one, two. The kitchen area, um, this is the stair to, that's the, there'll be like, I could, I'll close the wall right here, and then this will be a direct exit to the back How does it get in of the porch, and then the front entrance. That's like directly coming in. Yeah. See that arrow? Right. The exit on the back would be. Currently, it's the um, the second. Currently, the um, the second stair has this like back staircase to the kitchen of the, on the first floor. I um, plan to put a wall on the kitchen area, so that would be like a direct exit to the back of the house. This a house. Um, yeah, well, there's four foot figured in for the buffer when we measure it. Well, well that'll all have to go through. Um, 
Yeah, that's not us. So, the reason I question that, if he's going to put stairs in the back to the outside, it's going to shorten that parking area. So I just wondered where, yeah. if you're going outside yeah. the building with that. Yeah, yeah, but that's where we're getting off the, the, if he says no, he's not putting them on, because you have to put them inside, and that's going to go somewhere else. Yeah, no, I was just wondering, if what I didn't notice his plans. So if he was putting them on the outside, yeah, right. it would change that parking plan at that point. Correct. Anyone else here to give testimony? Just, just I just want to say that uh, because we have six arts off street parking here, we need the buffer because I believe it's a residence next door, and it needs to be paved. Okay, I, I mean the the measurement would have the buffer. Yeah, like, we talked about. Is there the buffer. enough buffer in there? Yeah, we talked about the buffer at least four foot. And what he's and telling you, John, you're gonna have to pave the parking lot. Okay. Yeah, okay. I I mentioned that as well. Do we have to put that in, Dan, or is that automatically? Uh... Um, it's technically automatically, but let's put it in just so it's perfectly clear. Okay. Be safe. I make a motion. Second. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Gattins? No. Mr. Marks? Yes. Mr. Palmatessa? Yes. Chairman O'Neill? Yes. With a vote four to one, you've been granted, John. Thank you. Thank Congratulations, you. John. And that concludes the meeting. Thank you.